Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here, and what are we going to talk about today is a new product, but well, it's new to me. It's been around for about three years. This is the Raynox DCR250. It's a super macro conversion lens that converts any of your current camera lenses to a macro lens. Now, this is different than the screw-on uh, filters that I always talk about, the plus one, plus four, four plus ten close-up filter rings, uh, filters. This one is a little bit different. It has this very unique uh, hole. So this is the lens, right? It is a three-element lens. It gives you 2.5 uh magnification all right it only weighs about two ounces or like 60 grams new these are 72 dollars if you buy them new of course uh less if you buy them used all right uh so why am i even discussing this today well a lot of people like photography okay this is what it looks like mounted on the camera okay uh it's very simple you just grab these two protrusions you push them in and off it comes now today's class is going to be all about macro photography on the cheap okay so this close-up filter right or macro uh accessory okay this goes for about $72, okay? The lens we're using today is not a macro lens. It is a zoom lens. It's the AF Nikkor 28 to 85 F 3.5 to 4.5 lens. This goes for about $70. But the star of the show is the Nikon D100. This is only like a $60, $70 camera because it's six megapixels. It's DX format, right? It's an APS-C size sensor. Takes CF cards, one card, okay? But this whole setup, right? Lens, say 60, camera 60, that's 120. And this uh, 2.5 magnifier, right? Like another 70. So we're up to like $190 for this whole system to shoot, uh, to shoot macro for. Now, uh, you saw how I just put this on. So this will fit, right, these little ex spring extenders grip onto where your filter would normally go, on the front of your lens, right? Just like this. And it works best with a zoom lens zoomed all the way out to its furthest focal length. So this is an 85, 28 to 85. So I have it on the 85 millimeter. Best, put it on manual focus, okay? And you use your body in and out to focus, all right? Uh, before we get right into my uh, setup that I have to take macro photographs, I just want to check uh, to see if I gave you everything. Oh, and now, so this setup, right, the way it comes from Rainex. By the way, this was a gift from a subscriber, okay? Uh, Rainox, uh, they're not a sponsor, okay? The way it comes is it'll fit any filter ring, okay? Any filter ring from 52 millimeters to 67 millimeters. But that does not mean that that's what you're stuck with. You can purchase rings, step up and step down rings, okay? They come in sets like this, okay, for just a few dollars. Uh, the set I use, not a sponsor, 
K and F concept. Uh, this set right. goes from seven step up, step down. Okay, here, and you can get them individually too to fit any lens you have if it doesn't come in the set. All right, enough about step up rings. Uh, okay, so now I know all my fellow photographers are saying, hey, Carmine, you're going to get some vignetting. I mean, this opening is smaller than the front element. Well, you don't, you don't get vignetting. Okay, I'm going to show you the photographs all throughout this video. That I took with this setup. Okay, now let's take a look at the setup. So right here, right now I have another camera set up over there, the Acaso, A-K-A-S-O, the V50X. Okay, very simple. I'll put this, put the camera down for a second. All right, one light macro setup. This is the light I use, right? This is the uh, Lytra, L-I-T-R-A, not a sponsor. Okay, um, that's what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. I'll turn it on. Okay, very bright. It has an uh, LED display for the Kelvin temperature. You can go warm to cool. Okay, so this is how I have one light set up. The board I'm using is just a piece of black plexiglass. Okay, so that's my light. Now, my subjects today, just, just to demonstrate this lens, I'm using some deer antlers. Look, here's a deer antler on my shirt, right? Some deer antlers. Okay, they make for some pretty cool close-up photographs. And just for the heck of it, this was a point and shoot camera. Okay. You can see the sensor, the size of the sensor right there, right? This makes it for some very cool macro shots as well. Okay, so we'll set up a shot, okay, like this, okay? I just have the one light going on the one subject, okay? Now, I picked the D100 because it's an inexpensive D uh, DSLR, right? I told you, it goes for like 60, 70 bucks in mint condition. To prove to you that you do not need a $2,000, $5,000 camera to take excellent macro photographs, okay? Like we said, this whole setup, camera, lens, and this uh, Raynox macro adapter, right? Or conversion lens, as they call it, right? 6, 12, 18, 190 bucks, okay? So this is how we do it. A, uh, ASA. The ISO, I have it about 500. Okay. My F stop, F8. It's the sharpest point, sharpest uh, aperture of any lens. Okay. Have the zoom set at 85 millimeters. If you have a 200 millimeter zoom, bring it all the way out to 200 millimeters. I have it on manual focus. Okay. I have it, the camera on aperture priority. Okay. And this is how I take the photographs. Okay, turn it on. All right, now one light. Okay, that'll give you the best uh, shadowing, right? For a little bit of depth. And you're just going to move your body in and out to take the photograph. Okay, move in. Now inside the camera, it's telling me that this shot will be taken at 125th at f8. That's fine for handheld. You'll notice no tripod for the camera. Okay.
and you just rock back and forth. All right, let's try it now with the parts of the point and shoot digital camera. Okay, same thing. Now you can move your light around however you want it. Okay, so I'm going to put the photographs up all throughout this uh, video to show you the results. Okay, and I can show you the back of the camera. Okay, the D100 has such a small screen. Uh, it's really meant to just to make sure that everything is functioning. Okay, so we'll turn that camera off. All right, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little video about the Raynox uh, conversion lens, okay? It comes with the lens, of course, comes with the holder, okay? Uh, which fits front element filters from 52 to 67, but don't fear, with step up and step down rings, you can make it fit virtually any lens at all. Um, okay. So I hope this works out good. It's a little different today's video. Um, working with two cameras. Hopefully I'll be able to use both. If you don't see both, then it didn't work out. The audio is coming straight uh, out of camera. I don't have any external mics today because I didn't have room. Okay, let's shut this down. And it, that's the way it is. All right, this Lytra, just so you guys know, not a sponsor, by the way. The writing is so small. I want to give you the model number because I highly recommend it. It's the Wireless 30M Waterproof MIL-STD810G uh, Lytra Pro Full Spectrum 1200LM Bicolor 95CRI. Highly recommended. All steel construction. Uh, the battery chart, the internal battery charges. Ugh. Right on the side. Of course, it's going to be difficult for me to open it. Okay, little charging port right there. Charges pretty quickly, no issues. Okay. Okay, come on. All right. And I have it on mini tripods. These you should have bunches of to mount all kinds of things lights and little action cameras and stuff like that. Okay. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you that with this setup, right, you can do just about any kind of macro photography. without spending a bundle on a macro lens, okay? Uh, please subscribe right down here. You'll see a little red square. Click on that, that'll make you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below, please, even if it's just saying hello. And also, black and white photo at AOL.com. Email me any question you have about photography and I'll get back to you within a day or two. All right, guys. Call me from New York saying bye-bye, and I hope you enjoyed the macro photographs. Bye-bye, guys.